Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, we explored the Nicoya Peninsula and found incredible natural beauty, excellent beach camping, and plenty of fun waves to surf. We're standing on a bridge just outside the Carrara Biological Reserve, where the highway crosses over the Tarcoles River. Here, it is common to see a large group of crocodiles up to 12 feet in length, sunbathing and swimming in the river below. It is a popular spot for tourists like us to stop and view the wild crocodiles from the safety of the bridge, though the passing traffic on the highway felt equally dangerous and unpredictable at times. With our curiosities met, we carried on down the Pacific Highway to Playa Hermosa. We are here in this public beach parking spot and we are going to camp here, but it gets really dark and it's probably not safe to leave our stuff, so we're not gonna like set up camp and our new friends Maddie and Ingrid we've been following their journey for a really long time on Instagram as down the line this is the first time officially meeting them uh, Maddie is playing some live music today at a bar just a couple of doors down yeah I'm looking forward to some live music some jams some food out hopefully it's good this is a song called uh, they sat by their seat all right one, two, three. going on. We were enjoying the camaraderie of our fellow travelers, but the surf hadn't shaped up as we had hoped, and we felt we would be pushing our luck if we continued to free camp in this populated area any longer than we had. When we told Maddie and Ingrid that we were moving on and planned to hunt out a potential remote surf spot, they were quick to jump on board. We weren't on the highway for long before we turned to side roads, winding our way through small towns and farmland. Eventually the side roads gave way to dirt roads that became bumpier and narrower until we fell off the map completely. At this point, we were doing our best to follow a route I created using satellite imagery and optimism. We're on a little exploratory mission right now and things are getting a little tight. <laughs> uh, our buddies are actually, they're behind us but they're walking behind us now because they have a little bit bigger of a rig uh, and it just got pretty tight. So <laughs> we're punching through and he's gonna walk behind us and he wants to make sure there's like a place to turn around if need be. So we thought he was running behind us, and I guess he is on the truck. Oh it looks like it ends pretty close, but this is, I'm already like well into a road that I don't want to drive on. It's 
starting to, it's starting to get a little ridiculous. <laughs> I can't tell you how many surfing wild goose chases I've been on with this guy. Oh yeah. I mean from here it looks like the river mouth is like another like quarter mile. I wonder if we should be driving on the beach. I mean look that track like practically disappears right there too, right? Yeah, it's not getting any wider. Oh. head towards the beach, which is just right there. We don't have as nice of a vehicle as our friends, so I think they're a little bit more concerned of damaging it, which aesthetically we really can't damage it. Well, we could. It's already damaged. <laughs> we just don't care. It is pitch dark now. It is such an intense storm. And it came in so fast. Like, uh, it was just dead calm. The seas glassed off. And then just bam. Um, so we scrambled to feed the dog, get him into bed. We're wet. We're soaking wet. But I'm in this portion in the bed. But Matt is stuck in there <laughs> with jaggies. We need to get him in there. How you doing in there, Matt? Not doing as good as Jagger's doing. Yeah, he looks pretty cozy. He had a good day today, like the whole day. He was like super spunky. Anyways, we're not gonna make dinner, which is sad. I had a really beautiful stir fry plan, but I got some backups. <sighs> but no, no beautiful stir fry tonight. I uh, was switching the fins uh, out of my normal board and trying to put them in my bigger board because it's like a lot of paddling and big waves out there and I strained my neck. It like popped and felt like all these little sharp pains through my back. Oof. And so now I can't like look up at all and I can't raise my arms with that so I'm not going to be able to paddle. So I'm kind of out of the water for now. Sucks. Aw, oh, Maddie's going out for a solo sesh. Aw, oh, I'm so sorry, Matt. This is like, those are the types of places you wait for. <laughs> it's okay. It is such a beautiful day. It's been great. We're all getting our stuff all dried out. Everything has been wet and musty and it's been nice just get some sunshine and our solar panels are kicking butt um, yeah it was an interesting morning um, Matt unfortunately tweaked his neck really bad I hope it doesn't affect our ability to go whitewater rafting and kayaking this week since that was on the agenda anyways Matt 
Matt tweaked his neck, couldn't go out. Maddie kind of went out by himself, but didn't quite make it all the way over there by himself. It's kind of a bit far and kind of an intense river crossing to do by yourself. So yeah, we've all just been chilling out, cooked some breakfast, had our coffee, and now we're just waiting for the tide to go down and then we'll pack up and head on and probably head on our different directions. I don't know, maybe we'll catch up with them further on in Costa Rica, hopefully. It's been really fun. Give him a high five. <laughs> oh, they're so brotastic. Regain our speed. Is that wide enough, or do you want me to keep moving stuff? That's it, man. <laughs> With another adventure in the books, we said goodbye to Maddie and Ingrid and carried on at our own pace, following our route back out to the highway and turning south once again. We were headed for the small coastal city of Capos. This area is known for its natural beauty, abundant wildlife, and its many outdoor activities, which is why we were here. Amy had reached out to the Tucanes Tour Company, and they liked our video so much they invited us to join them for a couple of local excursions. But first, I had to get my back straightened out. Matt's neck is still pretty messed up, don't really think it's much better. So we made an appointment, we're on our way right now to go and have his neck cracked by a chiropractor. Matt, how are you feeling? You feeling any better from the adjustment? Maybe a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Um, still pretty stiff. Fortunately, I still had a couple of days to recuperate before the tours were scheduled. We spent that time running errands in the city, walking the grounds around where we were staying, and watching the local hooligans work up the nerve to pillage our neighbor's kitchen. She's like, uh-uh, monkeys, you're not getting this food. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Next time on the Traveling Together Journal, we kayak through the mangroves of Isla Damas and raft down the rapids of Rio Savegre. <laughs>